All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to One Game, One Life. My name is Typo, and this is Crusader Kings 3 with the Argia Dynasty Part 2. Kind of a part one of sorts, because this will be the first episode where Count Granicus himself is going to be getting involved. I know our first episode was, what can the Hellenistic people do without, Gran without Granicus to lead them? Because he's been a child this whole time. <coughs> And he hasn't been able to do anything to really help out. And what we were able to accomplish without him leading the charge was very little. But we did, in the last 10 years, last 11 years, set up Granicus for success, hopefully. And so we are just about to take over the last county on our main duchy of Sardinia. And then once Granicus becomes of age, hopefully he can lead these people to a great future. Really need a good martial education for this to work. His stats across the board, other than his martial stewardship and prowess, are pretty lackluster. So we're going to have to excel in the areas he's good at. <clears throat> I had time to look more at these personality traits, and trusting is still kind of a bummer. But, you know, sure, Granicus is quick to place his trust in others. But, impatient actually works out pretty good. Because we don't have a liege or many vassals at this point... Trading two learning for 20% more prestige monthly, I actually don't hate that at all. This actually really came around on me while I was thinking about it, because we need prestige badly. We are not gathering prestige well. We're only, like, we're not even halfway to distinguished yet, let alone really getting up there. And you need distinguished to even declare war on a duchy, isn't that right? Let me, let me double check that that's true. I can't right now, but, you know, I think that's right. And stubborn is just good. Being better against disease for five opinion and three stewardship to make sure for sure that he'll have over ten stewardship so that he can have a domain of five. That'll be very crucial. The fact that we're Greek gives us an extra domain limit is also fantastic. Let's go Greek. So, we will be playing as Granicus today very soon. So let's go ahead and get him dressed up, ready to go. And I looked at our options a little bit ahead of time. And I think Byzantine, Byzantine armor fits well. I'm a little conflicted on the headwear, to be honest. Nothing super matches with him right now. We're going to have to find something that really works in the future. The Crown of Lombardy doesn't look bad on him at all. And then there's also, like, uh, the Leaf Crown and other crowns and stuff like that. But the other crowns seem Catholic or Christian in faith for the most part. There's the Byzantine Imperial Crown, but obviously the Byzantines are using that. I can't use that. I can use their armor, but I can't use their crown. I don't actually know the history of the Iron Crown of Lombardy, so let me know on that, and maybe we'll rock that for now. And Granicus will be of age in two years. Let's go ahead and wrap up this war here. Um, we're going to keep no court positions right now. Just have faith that things are going to be alright. His health should be really high, yeah. Stubborn and Giant probably counteract each other, and then Herculean is going to be really good. <clears throat> Opinions are getting better. They're still bad, but they're getting better. Alright. Let's go. Only two more years until Grand Kiss becomes of age, and we can really get this going properly. And once we get to 360 gold, which we are oh so close to... We will be able to create the Argentiera Mine. It will take five years to construct, so it won't be instantly, but it'll pay itself off very quickly, and then we'll start making money off of it the rest of the playthrough. What is the Realm Capital bonus on that? Okay, just plus one for Realm Capital. Alright, fair enough. Um, I should have been promoting culture here. Yeah, we needed the taxes, so I don't hate that we've been gathering taxes the whole time, but now we really need to start doing the culture. And Gosentinu's good at it. He's 20 stewardship. Again, these people don't like us, but we're starting to get decent stats across the board. We've got a spy master. No ransom, though. Seven prowess. Uh, that would barely improve our, our lot. Not really. Oh, Strasmere is getting old. I was going to say his prowess used to be so much better. 
Damn. That's a shame. Annie's in poor health. Shoot. Okay, wait. Maybe we do take this guy because I'm going to run out of people soon. He's lustful, callous, and stubborn. Demand conversion and recruit. Did we cook? No. So now he's Hellenistic. We have a new guy. Negotiate release. Dodger rodent killer. Uh, Dodger. <laughs> As Dodger approaches me with yet another dead rat, I can do nothing but praise her. The castle has never been free of this, this free of rodents before. Keep up the gro the good work. Get that huge boost to health for five years. We'll take that. No questions asked. <laughs> to the evil Granicus, I have no choice but to accept your conditions for my release. To the evil Granicus, watch your step now, Antoni. Yeah, people don't like us. We're about to turn 16, though, and hopefully that can be helped. Nice! Let's ransom him. I know we could end the war right now, but for 50 gold ransom, we could start building the mine now, and we could still just win the war by capturing this location. So, it'll just take make the war last a little longer, and we'll get 50 more gold out of the war. Whoa, what?! He bought mercenaries. All right, all of a sudden, error in judgment. Come on, he, he needs to be in debt. Isn't he trying to... Good, he's in debt. Owner is slightly in debt. That'll add to the war. Damn, that happened a day in time. All right, well, that's about to happen. Let's go ahead and build the Argentiera mine. Beautiful, and it's got even better stages we can work towards eventually. We need the, um, Menorialism innovation, which is early medieval. Let's take a look at our culture, actually. There's a lot of things we didn't do last time because I was trying to get settled. We are bureaucratic, so we get more lifestyle experience and cultural fascination progress. And development growth. Damn! Okay, Greek? That's nuts, actually. That's so good. We have the Onager innovation, so we can't have ar Onagers already. Armored Footmen, Banis, Public Works, Currency, Crop Rotation. We have almost everything in the tribal limits. And this is where we get the plus one domain limit for being Greek. We're working on Barracks right now, which will happen in 30 years. Okay, and Cassus Belli is being worked on for 27 years. And then it'll just be city planning and mustering grounds left. Wow. Yeah, the Greek culture is very solid. This is a fantastic trait. Um, improving our vassal limit and getting rid of the title creation cost is awesome. Just awesome. Uh, spearmen, skirmisher are worse. Pursuit is worse. Men at arms counter efficiency better. Okay. Can recruit cataphracts. Yeah, I want those. But they're very expensive. And then the Byzantine traditions. Can blind and castrate prisoners? <sighs> Short reign duration is longer. That's what we've been dealing with. <clears throat> okay. Okay. The military organization of the Roman Empire is still in living memory within this culture. Professional army is favored over levied troops. This culture regards the rule of law as it, and its codification as being the most important parameter of a civilized society. This culture knows how to create synergy between different types of units u by use of efficient protective formations. And this culture is closely, closely associated with the imperial traditions of the Eastern Roman Empire and its legacy in the form of a complex and intricate code of courtly conduct. Okay, with all these advantages, we should win this fight, but I don't like that this is happening, if I'm being honest. <clears throat> and Tony's not in the... Oh, shoot. Get in there, Antony. Plus one martial advantage. God, they have a good captain. Okay, we are going to win. Whew, this is going to be costly, though. We're not winning this by much. Gozantinu wounded Fertunatu. 
Wounded by injured steward. My steward Gonsantinu has been wounded and the injury runs deep. I fear this body's not strong enough to fight this on his own. I fear its death is lingering by his side. There's nothing that can be done. Severely injured. Oh god, and he's intelligent too. Like, there's a lot of reasons to keep this guy around. Fine. Let's get a court physician. Um. My chancellor, my flamen. My chancellor and my flamen are the only real options here. <laughs> These deceitful and yeah, let's uh let's go with flamen. You'll be our court physician for point one gold a month. Is this really in the way? A point. He's a powerful agent in hostile schemes against you. I know that's like my concern. No, we won't do it. We won't do it. I'm sorry. I can't. We don't have anybody that we like right now, so we're struggling. Wow, we barely, barely won this. The indebt is minus five. No, Guglielmo was slain. Shoot. I really thought. Why are you here? I really thought that ransoming that guy was the right call, and I think I made a mistake. And then we get this guy. Nice. Demand conversion recruit. Give me this guy. Pandolfu is our new 12 prowess warrior. Watch your step now. Alright. Raise him. Join these together, obviously. Man oh man. This is this is tough. It shouldn't have been this tough. Why are we outnumbered now? I don't understand. Granicus is not of age for a little over a year left. We actually lost more people in that fight. And now Zeron Zeronimu is wounded. Bro, what is happening? This is savage. Come on, get him out of here. Why is why are these battles so close? We're gonna lose this? What just happened? How? They had no people left! But they had no people left? What on earth just happened? <laughs> what just happened? Uh, interesting. That's extremely interesting. What on earth? How do you lose a battle where you still have all the... Where you have men and they don't? This damn mercenary thing they did. Unbelievable. That's so crazy that they managed to pull that off. Ugh, I cannot believe they pulled that off. Forty-nine days, sure. That'll take longer than that. How, oh how, did they pull that off? They had less... They were out of people. They didn't have less people. They were out of people. They had zero people, but they kept winning. What on earth just happened? Come on, everybody. All right, Granicus is 15. Oh, boy. He didn't get a lot of points growing up, and so that'll be more difficult, but if he gets a good education, it'll still work out. We're going to lose Galura, but it's, it's taking so long to get our people back. 482 is not going to be enough. Because <laughs> they magically get extra people. That's right, we can lose Galura and still win just by taking Logaduro. Let's just get our people back. He hired mercenaries that he can't really afford. So, this is temporary. 
Yeah, 487 out of 488 of those are mercs. You do you. So, without Granicus leading the charge, we were not able to accomplish a whole lot, unfortunately. We're gonna need Granicus. He's gonna have to show the world... He's gonna have to show his people how to do this. How it's done. Hmm. Unpressed claim on Logaduro. I don't need it, but thank you. And now they have power in a year. Oh man, Granicus is coming into a bad situation. They were supposed to set him up for success, and that is not what they did. They set him up for failure. Granicus is just going to have to go hard and show them that he's ready. Nine days, 16 days left. Yeah, we'll get there first, so we'll be on the defense. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, we're defending in hills, higher quality, more men-at-arms counter. This should be good. This should be good. I can't believe we could have ended this war and I got greedy for 50 gold. I didn't realize he was going to hire mercenaries, and that kind of ruined our whole plan. Here comes 200 more men. Those are his actual men. Without the mercenaries. Sixty-four to one thirty. Yup. But we can't stop him right now, so is what it is. Is what it is. Yeah, he's organizing the army, fair enough. Yeah, there's nothing else we can really do right now. Alright. That's alright, Granicus is coming of age very soon. And then we're going to be ready. To make our mark. Here they come. As soon as they commit to the attack, we'll commit to the defense. Uh, you know what, actually? No, I don't like our count. Let him go siege for a bit. Plus, we get our main man, Granicus, in two months here. I guess he's going to have to defend his lands from somebody he should have beat. And by he, I mean the people around him. Failed to do it, and so he's going to have to do it for them. Under siege. Here we go, one more month. A neighboring ruler. He's zealous, so he probably won't agree to anything else. Wait. Oh, we have Gublenu. I was like, what? Gotcha. My prisoner. He's a 21 steward. Damn, that's a really good steward. If you'll give 10 gold, I'll give him back 10 gold. Yeah. Okay, I'm so hype. Here we go. Granicus becomes a man. Coming of age. With the help of Tobias, I have achieved an understanding of warfare that far exceeds that of any of my peers. Even though I had a natural inclination towards the subject, my mastery of it is still an achievement. As I take my first steps into adulthood, I find myself reminiscing about some of the people who have made an impact on the man I have become. I had some memorable times with Anna. She truly helped me understand both myself and love. I wonder if Anna remembers the things I put her through when we were young. <laughs> that was a complicated message. Yes! We became a brilliant strategist, and we got military engineer along with our holy warrior. 19 martial, 19 prowess. The rest of his stats are decent at best, but at what he's supposed to be great at, he did it. Count Granicus, you're a man now. Plus 20 opinion for Anna. You won't forget Anna anytime soon. Minus 5 opinion. So 15. Yep. Lost the trait rowdy. All that good stuff. So 17 Marshall. Let's lead our people. Plus the Holy Warrior advantage too. That should be really nice. Should be really nice. Cagliari is working on the Argentiera mine. Three years left on that. Okay. Let's go to our... 
lifestyle. Marshall, what can we do here? Plus five advantage and three prowess is so nuts. Why would you want three Marshall when you could have plus five advantage here? I know you can get a little more levies that way, but... Chivalry focus. Victory comes not through blood or gold, but honor. Luck can win a duel. A fool can win a battle. It takes more to win a war. I kind of like the strategy focus, what it sounds like, but... I think we're going to start down the gallant tree probably anyway for knight effectiveness and other things. <clears throat> yeah. Okay. Let's go chivalry for three prowess and five advantage. Select. And there we have it. Oh, it was authority before, so now we're at 16 marshal. A little low, but don't worry. Even though we only have 16 marshal, which is only considered good, we're a holy warrior, and we have um, five advantage from being chivalric. So we have all the martial advantages you could really ask for. 26. Leading on soldiers is another 5. Yeah. So 36 advantage when he's up against another religion. That's going to be so good. Man. Recruit getting our levies back up has been difficult though. Dodger the gift giver. Two blue eyes follow me as I cross the hallway, and a small meow breaks the silence as Dodger pounces for my ankle. She may be young, but she is nonetheless ferocious. As she prances away, I see that she left me a gleaming gift where she had been hiding. Thank you, fair lady. Too cold, thank you. Okay. Now that Granicus is here, let us lead. Better army commander, more commander traits, higher quality, more men-at-arms counter. It's time for that him to show them that even if they have superior numbers, we are the superior army. Come on, Granicus, show them how it's done. Show them how it's done, plus 22 advantage. Their superior numbers don't have it. Granicus is that guy, leading us to victory. White piece. Decline. No, you know you're about to lose. We lost more than I would have liked, but we made it happen. 130 to 252. Well done, well done. <clears throat> Alright, we'll wait two months to build up the army again. A faction disbanded. They said, oh, no. Never mind. Okay, now that we're an adult, though, we can start to have these uh, conversations with people. Let's start swaying our Flamen so that he likes us and supports us. 69%, that's not great. But, you know, we'll work on it. Workshop it. Nobody likes us yet. We're a danger to ourselves with our current likability. Alright, one more month of gathering strength. How, how much longer until he has it, doesn't have his mercs anymore? I should have kept track of the year. It's probably another year and a half or so. Like, it's a while. Oh yeah, let him come back to us. I'm all for that. <clears throat> yeah, let's do this. Are we going to get our reinforcements in time? We did, yeah. Plus 22 advantage. Let him know what you're made of. Granicus is commanding the field of battle. Yes! I love it. I love it when our leader finally becomes of age and starts tearing up. Ode did it, and now Granicus will do it. 43 to 210. Granicus is going to be a commanding leader. You just watch. Now he's defending, but we're on the move now. We have no more men-at-arms to, to gather. The levies are coming in slow, so let's just go ahead and wrap this up. Hit them at their capital. They're on the defense, and it's still a 12 advantage. Look at those numbers! Oh my goodness! Let's go! Fantastic. And he's a military engineer, so siege will be faster. 21 to 147. Well done. Okay, Granicus is going to get us all of Kegliari, which is going to be the maximum holdings he can hold, and then we're going to have to look at conquering new lands. I, I still think Mayurka is the play. Lotharingia! 
He took middle. F oh my god. He took middle. He took middle France. Oh my god. We're in so much trouble. Those are two different kingdoms, right? They're three different kingdoms, even. Four different kingdoms, even. <clears throat> if we can survive long enough for King Louis to die, we'll be we'll be set. We cannot we cannot hold off a five thousand strong army, though. As good as Granicus is, he's not that good. Do we have enough men for the siege? How many garrison here? Three sixty-two. Not by much. But so far, not terrible. Kegliari's coming into its own. The mine is halfway built. That's going to be a huge boost when we get that done. Kegliari's under siege. Does it still build during that? I'm curious. Uh, maybe it doesn't. I'm not sure. But we'll win our siege before they win theirs, and that means it's a war. He's now 17 years of age. One more year and we can give this man a beard. Oh, yeah, 22 from Chivalry Focus. That's right. Man, I love that Granicus has become this guy. So we can divine the stars now. Our destinies are written in the stars themselves. By studying them, I may gain some insight into what the future holds. Let's divine, just the way Alexander the Great used to believe in the oracles. Let's say that uh, we're the same. Except for this time, we are the oracle, so to speak. Almost there. Divining the stars. I've spent many nights looking up at the night sky, tracking the movements of the celestial bodies. Over time, I noticed a pattern. After days of analysis, I'm now confident in my prediction. The signs are clear. Hard work will lead me to a great fortune in the future. And what else the future holds in store? Dedicated worker for 10 years. Two stewardship, minus two intrigue, 25% steward life, stewardship lifestyle experience. And we're not going to use that, but, you know, we'll take this extra stewardship. Sure. It's more taxes. Wait, <laughs> no! You know you're going to lose this war. Good try, though. And that's a wrap, ladies and gentlemen. Can we ransom you or no? No. Oh, you're 13 prowess. I want you. Demand conversion and recruit. Give me those Hetariae. And then we're going to be done recruiting for a while. But that's, our, that's actually our best soldier. The one we just picked up. Let's enforce demands. To the lumbering Count Granicus. Yeah, because we're, <laughs> we're a big man. My, may wisdom ever elude you. You are a much greater foe than I imagined. In order to put an end to this bloodshed, I'll comply with your demands. Alright. We have it. Here is the homeland that we will be defending for a long, long time. This is the homeland until we get Mount Olympus way in the future. This is it. This is what we have to hold down. I can't believe this became Lotharingia and is now 5,000 strong. We're so doomed if they make a move on us. Like, it's not even going to be close. Ten knights, onagers, the works. We basically just have to pray they don't attack us. Powerful vassal ex expects a position. Wasn't that just too bad? Alright. Let's gather our forces. We should have enough to overpower Myrka eventually. She's a woman. Why did I... Oh, God damn it. <sighs> I gathered her for her prowess and she's not even allowed to fight. Just disappointing is what that is. I didn't think it through. Let's see if we can get a good spouse now. Ooh, a giant spouse right here. Who's gregarious? Which is good for them, not for us. Patient and humble. And her stat line is good for Marshall and prowess. But man, she is out there, isn't she? Hmm. S sort by some of all skills. And she's quick, but that's not great. These stats are pretty solid, though. Man, that could, that could create a child that was basically anything, huh? It would cost me 100 prestige to do that marriage, though. We'll wait for a better option for Granicus here. He's a guy. He doesn't have to rush it. 
Okay. 891 so soldiers. There's no straight here, so if they gather their army there and we go here, they would also have to disembark. That actually makes this a real pain to defend for him. And very advantageous for us. <clears throat> Let's actually make a duchy first. Sebastianos appreciates your efforts. We are so close to him liking us. If it wasn't for our personal diplomacy being so bad, we'd already have this lined up. Damn. Let's make a duchy, and that'll give us the fame we need for Distinguished. And then we can declare wars on uh, duchies once we have enough prestige. So, this is now an enormous issue. Like, wow, that's a huge issue. Africa's massive. Dodger the Troublemaker. My vassal mayor Melissa approaches me, raging her eyes and cat in her hand, held by the scruff of its neck. As she thrusts the cat in my face, I see that it's my dear Dodger. I found this little monster among my things. That, that what, what wasn't scratched to bits was covered in piss. I'm not giving you 50 gold. Yeah, you can lose 20 of that extra 100. Sorry. But, uh, we, are, we were bossy. We're stubborn. <laughs> This is Granicus. This is our guy. Okay, 930 is gonna have to do. The thing is that we don't have the prestige or the gold to make a to make a move right now. And raiding this isn't really an option. And we can't raid across the seas, so we're kind of hard stuck here for the moment. But Granicus will lead us. He'll get there. He's gonna have stalwart leader soon, which reduces the risk of leading an army, which is really good. <clears throat> oh, he built another hundred bowmen. Hate to see it. I didn't want to see more opposition. Argentiera mine. One more year. And we're all set to go. Grenicus is now going to be 18. And now this man's got a beard. Yeah. Let's get a, let's get a nice beard here. What fits him? I mean, that looks fine, I guess, but we can do better. Ooh. Kind of like a dwarven beard right there. The, lo the long curly beard works, too. A wizard's beard. I kind of really like the braid beards here. That does look good, actually. Let's go with this for now. It looks more goofy than uh, it looked in the profile. Damn. Uh, that probably looks goofy too. Let's go with the long curly beard, sure. We'll start with that. Y'all let me know if you want to see something else. Okay. I don't dare raid them, right? Okay, they're attacking somebody. They're attacking Jarl Ivar the Boneless? Who? Why? That's in the middle of nowhere. Bro, that aggression. We're going to need this Bellum Justin, by the way, before we declare our next war. So <laughs> maybe we do that first. Boy, do we need that. Bellum Justin, please. Because declaring war on a duchy is going to cost 375 prestige, even with Bellum Justum. But at least it's way more affordable. Yeah, we have a great plan here. Actually, I'm going to speed this up a little bit. We have a great plan. Get enough money for making a duchy. That'll boost our prestige high enough that we can both declare war on a duchy and we'll be distinguished, so we'll be allowed to. So let's let adult Granicus do his thing. Nine more months on the mine. Okay. Hopefully he's at war properly with them. Let's see if we can raid a little something. This is really risky. I'm just trying to speed things up a little bit. The thing is, that when they start raiding, they don't stop raiding. Yeah, don't automatically raid, please. 
Okay, let's make our move. They're not here right now. Thirty-five days. They could gather so fast. <laughs> I'm swallowing because I'm nervous. <laughs> here we go. It's it's so far so good. Hitting them when they're distracted with a war is definitely the time to do this. Lead the way, Granicus! We even got some valuable prisoner- <gasps> A genius. This is really messed up, but can you like... Marry this way? I'm sorry, but like, that would be <laughs> That would strategically be very advantageous. Uh... Man, that would be evil to do, though. Man, that would be evil to do. Let's go to the city of Vecchio. They're still busy with their war, I think. So, I think this is our play. Yes, this will be great for gathering goods. See, most feudal uh, empires can't... Or, feudal can't do this. But because we are unreformed... Um... Here we go. Unreformed gives us a bunch of negative um, attributes, but it does give us more prestige, and it does allow the raiding of foreign counties for loot. So even though we're feudal, we can still raid. And so being reformed isn't all bad. Unreformed isn't all bad, it's just, you know, mostly bad. I'm getting greedy going for more. I really am. But I really want more. Ah! Come on, Granicus! That's only worth four. This is worth 15. If we see an enemy at any point, we're, we're getting out of dodge. The fact that you can't stop a raid once it's started is also stressful. Okay. We have 52 gold on us. That's enough for what we need. Let's just go back. Too risky. Just go back. Hit them while they're distracted. Dodger charmed about... Hey, Mayor Melissa! The person that just hated our cat. As I walk outside, I'm greeted by the sight of my vassal, Mayor Melissa, crouching beside my cat, Dodger, tenderly petting her head. This is quite the lovely cat you have, my lord. You are very perceptive. <laughs> now she has neutral opinion of me because of our cat. Why not? Okay. Call for a hunt. We're in an army. I would like to call for a hunt. That's a good prestige bonus as well. Nice. 52 gold and 52 prestige brought back. Which means we can disband the armor army. Uh, hunt costs money, though. Damn, I forgot about that. <laughs> How did I forget about that? We'll have to go back for more. But let's create a duchy. Uh, I don't remember how to do that. Here, here we go. Create the Duchy of Sardinia. And we can ransom three prisoners. This guy... Wow, he would be good. Oh no, this is just a kid. Who's also a genius. Yo, what's with the geniuses in this family? It's because of her. Uh... Hmm... <laughs> Okay. Count Vecchio, huh? You've got the genius in your family? Hmm. I kind of need her to be available. What does a murder look like? Not great, unfortunately. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. The fact that they're geniuses is kind of crazy. Alright, go ahead and ransom him. Go ahead, go ahead. And let's make the Duchy of Sardinia. Create the title that'll give 300 prestige. Level us up to distinguished. Boom. You are now a mighty do. Do? Dutch? Duke? Tell me how to say this. Dukes? I'm gonna say Dukes for now. Um, I don't know how to say that. I do not know how to say that. Prestige... Uh, we're under the concubine limit is actually hurting our prestige right now. 
But I re... Okay, you know what? We'll take her as a concubine simply because she's too old to have kids and it'll get rid of the penalty. Yeah, chance of children, none. Sure. There you go. Ains. All right. Mayurka. Someone we can actually challenge. Oh, we need to be illustrious, not distinguished. Oh my goodness. That's a lot of fame to be able to declare war on a duchy. That's a lot of fame to be able to declare war on a duchy. My goodness. Ooh, 1473. They've gotten weaker. But they're still stronger than us. But are they strong enough? Man, if I could get some land over here so I could start raiding up this coastline, that would bring back so much goods. So many goods. But we've already failed here once before. But now that Granicus is an adult, perhaps it's more feasible. And then we're still waiting on this to collapse. They're still too weak. They're working on it. Is there anywhere we need to gather control? Yes, definitely. Two years or five years? Let's do the one that takes five years. Kegliari will be Greek in two years. Things are coming around. Our <laughs> Somebody likes us! Plus four! Do you see this? Oh man, it was a long time coming for somebody to actually like us. Wow, that took a lot of work. Our glory is widely known. We are a distinguished individual. Granicus at the age of 18 is distinguished. Alright, so duchy wars are actually way far off. This guy's a child. With a primary heir who's also a child. So, this is kind of our chant. McGrevy Warhammer. Boy, I want their... I want that Warhammer. That'd be so good. What kind of generals does he have? That's what I don't know. Alright. This would cost gold, though. Gold we don't have. Always about the gold, isn't it? Let's go ahead and take a county off of Mayurka, then. It's not exactly what I wanted to do, but... It's what we have. Uh, this has two tax. This has 0.47. Yeah, the capital would be the big one. Alright, let's make a move. There's nothing else we can do at the moment, so we might as well do it. Paid us for the ransom. Good. Aloisa. Go ahead. Ransom. 11 gold for this war. Alright. Sebastianos was swayed again, so let's start working on somebody else. Preferably our spy master, so we don't get ourselves killed. She's 36. She'll still be around for a while. We desperately need her to like us more. What is this war music? That was... That got amped. That was probably loud, too. Sorry about that. Ugh. Man. Blind move to dungeon. Negotiate release. Ransom. I could recruit her. And demand her conversion. I'm gonna try this. Uh, because I want to see if... Lavinia can join us. I have no choice but to accept your conditions for my release. Okay, this is doable. This is doable. Lavinia de Sinarca. We're doing her so dirty by doing this, and I really feel awful. But this is the way things used to be a long time ago, damn it. And he is stubborn and impatient. We didn't say that Granicus was a good guy. We just saw we just said he was gonna reclaim things for the Greek. Let's go ahead and get on Mayurka here. Manuka, Manurka, however you want to say that. <laughs> I have no idea. <clears throat> Alright. The mining settlement has been constructed. Our domain taxes go way up. And even though we have an army raised right now, we're still making money. Feels good. Uh, that math is not adding up. That sounds like it should be 2.4, not 1.2, right? Interesting. 
Um, let's do it. No. Though there is a genius there. Lavinia de Sinarca. She does not like us. We can't sway her yet. Let's learn her language. I think that's fair. <clears throat> sway Saragina? No, I need to do that first. Alright, we'll learn her language later. <clears throat> But I do I really do think that's the plan. Let's betroth ourselves to each other. She would gain 200 prestige and we would gain a hundred. Wow, that actually works out really well. <clears throat> yeah. Alright. Here we go. Send the proposal. You're now betrothed to Lavinia de Sinarca. We literally captured our bride. That's so messed up. Oh my god. Oh my god. We're the bad guys. <laughs> We're the bad guys. I did this man dirty. Literally stole his daughter. Count Oliviero. Sorry, my man. Okay. So, I'm gonna try to put that out of my brain and just embrace how villainous we've become. And we are going to win this war against Mayurka. And take Mayurka, the, the large county itself. This will be the county we want anyway. It also has this. It's got two holdings in Mayurka. Oh, nice. This is going to be a nice take right here. Okay, are they going to try to reclaim this land? Because I know they're all gathered here. I don't want to. I don't want the disembark penalty to kill us. Is why I'm taking this first. Because if I try to go here, they're gonna attack us while we're disembarked. I'm pretty sure. Oh God, <laughs> this war is expensive. Just embarking and disembarking. Gotta happen though. Gotta happen. Oh, and it became 11. Perfect. Yes, they went out to sea. Perfect, perfect, perfect. You done messed up. This land is ours now. Just try to stop us. You can't. Okay, so that was... Yeah, that was tactics by Granicus. Made them go out here. So that when they come back, they'll have to fight us with a disembarkation penalty. But now we're on the county that we actually wanted. This was all just set up. It cost six gold because we got five for capturing and it cost 11 to get out. So it costs an extra six gold. But by setting this up, we now have... We're now on top of what we actually wanted. That's beautiful. That is beautiful. Who is this? This is a nobody. This is some kid. <clears throat> Gain stress because we're trusting, okay. I demand your conversion, kid, and you can go. Farewell, Arangard. Just a commoner kid, not worth anything. He's a bastard. Okay. They're going to take that back, and that's absolutely fine, but we're going to have this. That's the real prize. I'm glad we're finally able to move on Mayurka now. We're going to be 20 soon. That's so crazy. Um, She likes us more. Why? Oh, because all the penalties are going down. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, I can't change her faith yet. Oh, it is. It's already Hellenic. That's right. Perfect. Alright, here we go. Oh, they're stuck on their boat. There's nothing they can do. They know they'll get the disembarkation penalty. Boom! We captured their heir and the capital. Yeah, we could probably get a lot of money for that, but... 40 gold or end the war now? Let's end the war now. Beautiful. 75 fame. And I gained the contested title. To the hysterical Duke Granicus. Duke's Granicus. May wisdom ever elude you. You are a much greater foe than I imagined. In order to put an end to this bloodshed, I'll comply with your demands. There we go. 
So be it. And Countess Leia can be ransomed for 25 gold on top. Beautiful. What's the span? Okay, so we are over our limit now, which means we should get our first... Building disabled, cause what? Oh, over domain limit. So we need to grant this to somebody. Can we not grant it to Sargina so that she likes us? No? Is it because she's a woman? Maybe. These are all men. Okay, my steward is Gosentinu, who's in fine health. He's now wounded instead of severely wounded. That's good. He's a great steward. He really is. Um, and he's intelligent. This is the guy I want to lock down, I think. So let's give him Malorca. And he becomes our vassal. Gains 40 opinion of us, so he likes us. Boom, he's in the green. Yes! Our first vassal. We got somebody on our side now. And this is the home country right here. We're now getting 5 gold a month. That's huge! 25 gold there. Huge. How's Africa looking? Africa's still struggling. I like that a lot. I like that a lot. Marshall perk. Organized marches. Movement speed. Screening. Siege weapon effectiveness. Hit and run. I still want to go down this line. Even having more knights. There's so many reasons to go down the gallant tree. At least this side of it. But organized march might be really good. Movement speed is always, almost always really good. But let's go here. The areas are small enough for now that movement speed hasn't been a huge deciding factor. There's Granicus, the guy, the myth, the legend. He's still healthy? Yeah. Lotharingia is going to be a problem for such a long time. I'm super worried. He's winning against Jarl Boneless. He is definitely winning that fight. There's 15 loot to take over there if I wanted to. I'm iffy on it. I'm iffy on it. Yeah, there's, there's still... Until we get a piece of this over here... I guess we could declare war on one of these and get started that way. Probably should have done that a long time ago, actually. And then this will get us where we can start raiding around us. This will be our foothold on the land on this side. Benevento is pretty strong. That does give us a neighbor that's kind of strong. Ugh. Lotharingia is here too? Oh my god. Oh my god. No matter where I go here though, I'm gonna be surrounded I'm gonna be surrounded by somebody difficult, right? So I think we do it. I think we do it. Um so this is further north than I was planning on gathering anytime soon, but we have nothing else to take for the moment. I still don't feel confident attacking Africa. They do only have forty six gold, so it's not like they can call in mercs for backup, but I do not feel confident attacking Africa at all. They're still... They're still out of reach. They're still out of reach. Alright, let's go to Salerno so we can start raiding people properly. Here we go. He's got enough money, he could, he could hire mercenaries while going into debt. So that is a concern. But we only have to take one location. Let's not gather right on top of him. We don't want to face the disembarkation penalty. Okay, like I said, further north than I was ever planning on doing, but... Granicus needs to start claiming land and doing things out here. County Mallorca has given rise to... Uh, Mallorca is not my problem. I mean, it kinda is, but you know what I mean. We'll go here, wait for the disembarkation penalty to go away, and then we'll make our move. Sway Sardinian culture. A commoner of Sardinian heritage has been accosted in the streets of Cagliari over some minor offense. By making a statement in their defense, I could perhaps convince my spymaster Saragina, the equally Sardinian of my good character, but I might risk alienating my Greek peers. 
40% chance you spend 75 prestige, but you gains 10 opinion. Or just 75 free prestige? Greeks are of superior moral fiber. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> I mean, I gotta, it's got to be said. All right, we wait like 10 days, then we can move. <clears throat> Alright, we get there in 20 days. Disembarkation's done, gone in 17 days. Good. So we are ready. Here we go. And disembarkation is gone. Sargina swayed. One more sway and she will like us. And then we don't have to worry about getting assassinated as much. Oh, I had a one-year-old die in my dungeons. What? When did that happen? All right, show them how it's done, Granicus. Wipe them out. They actually fought back surprisingly well. <laughs> Level devotion. We're faithful. Very nice. 87 to 145. All right, now Granicus is getting going. We had a slow start to this playthrough, but now everything is starting to come together now that Granicus is an adult. Okay, we're going to have to do this again. Fair enough. They do have superior men in general, because they're almost all men at arms. Oh, there it is. He's got money. A hundred gold. I will stall the war for a hundred gold. Absolutely. Who else did I capture? His son, too? He's going to want everybody. Prisoners, prisoners, prisoners. Who is this? This guy's not worth Jack. Uh, Doffer. He's not worth anything. Guaymar. He's 8 prowess, I guess. Also 8 prowess, I guess. And another siege guy. Alpert. Al Alpert. And he's 16, so I mean he's young. Impressionable, you could say. Let me recruit this man. Demand conversion and recruit. Never mind. This this is literally the the, the era we were talking about. <laughs> Dude, just kidding. Sixty three to three ten. Nice. Siege it up. <clears throat> okay, the air. Dofer can be sold for ten. Waymar can be sold for seventeen. Alper can be sold for seventeen. Waymar is worth a hundred. Really? So this is the air that's worth a lot. So Alpert we could recruit. Okay. Then I will recruit him. And then I will give you Doffer back for 10. Get more money for the other guy. Farewell, Alpert. I have no choice but to accept your conditions for my release. Yeah, there's no ransom left to take, is there? We sack this, we get 25 gold, but we can raid that faster. So let's go ahead and end the war. Good, and then we can start raiding properly. To the loathsome Dukes Granicus, may wisdom ever elude you. You are a much greater foe than I imagined. In order to put an end to this bloodshed, I will comply with your demands. So be it. And now, Granicus is starting to lay his claim on the Mediterranean Sea. Right here, this is what we're looking for. Secure the Mediterranean. This is our grand plan for getting Granicus into power. With key islands across the Mediterranean secured and acting as watchtowers of the sea, it is time for us to claim ownership over the waves. House Diargiad gains masters of the Mediterranean for a hundred years, which would give us more prestige, more naval speed, more coastal advantage, and more development growth in the Mediterranean Sea. Would give us 350 renown, which is a nice chunk of change. Would get us the kingdom of Balio Terrenia, which we would definitely rename, and uh, the Mediterranean Conquest cast a spell eye, which allows us to conquer any county along the shore of the Mediterranean, um, which I think we could maybe do anyway, but now we definitely could. We already have Sardinia. We need to get all of Mallorca, Corsica, and Salamide. So here's our, here's our long-term plan, and we're already starting to see it take root as Granicus is taking over the seas, left and west, east, all of it. Our only concern 
and it's a massive one, is this damn Lotharingia. If they make their move, it's too late. Okay, who else do we definitely want to keep as well? This man's handsome. A great eminence. Our chancellor. Yeah, let's do that. Theophanes, you get Salermo. Salerno, enjoy. So now we have two counts that are our vassals. And now we can finally raid over here, which will be huge because there's so much loot here to get. I have not kept track of time at all, but this seems like a really good point to stop. Hopefully it's about an hour is where we're at right now. Um, it feels shorter than an hour, but usually when I'm playing this game, I'm having so much fun that I completely <laughs> lose track of time. Lotharingia, please have mercy. Ooh! Francia split. God, West Francia is still a beast, but they're f so far away from us, they won't declare war on us. This is really the one where we have to worry about, and they're pretty weak, actually, so... Good. That's a problem. They could definitely declare war on this county here. This is our concern. Lotharingia, please, 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 do not declare war on us. We are not ready to handle you right now. Swear fealty? Oh, man. No, that's okay. We'll risk it all. We'll risk it all. They are so powerful. That's so wild. All right. So, yeah, here's where we're going to leave it off. Thank you so much for watching. Now Granicus is a man. He's ready to do work, and he has been putting in the work since he became a man. Things are going great. Uh, we're a huge villain for stealing Lavinia de Sanarca to marry. That's that's messed up. Don't do that at home, kids. And <laughs> thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, consider giving a like. And if you really enjoyed it, consider subscribing. But either way, thank you so much for joining me on this new playthrough of Crusade of Kings 3. I cannot wait to see if we can pull this off. Lotharingia, please have mercy, please. And I will see all of you next time. Let's go, Granicus!